today's vlog. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. I don't know why. I've been posting a ton on TikTok, but I feel like I haven't been vlogging quite as much. It is currently at 1048. I need to leave at like 1105 probably. So I have a second to get ready. Parker actually took the girls to Cabela's, which is like a store that has like an aquarium and animals. So today I just have a bunch of random things to get done. I have a lot of editing to do. Pretty much been on the computer all morning since I last filmed. I just had a ton of like random tasks to do and I'm still not even like close to being done but i'm getting ready to go get my nails done right now i just went two weeks ago they're definitely like kind of grown out but usually with dip nails i go a full month in between getting them done and they're grown out for sure but like they last and they're fine and a month is like a good amount of time for me this one broke yesterday it's like barely hanging on and i feel like i just can't use this finger so i tried to glue it yesterday and it just like did not stay so i'm gonna go get them done again but i also wanted to do a little pregnancy update because i am I'm seven months pregnant now. I swear this is as big as my belly was when I was literally nine months pregnant. We'll get into that in just a second, but I did want to say thank you to Ebby for sponsoring this video. Just got some new bras from them. I actually got a couple of other colors. They have a lot of really cute, like, even though this is a color, I feel like it's still kind of like neutral. And I usually keep like my bras on my underwear pretty neutral just because I wear a lot of light colors. It also comes with pads in it, but usually I take the pads out of my bras. So I don't have pads in this one, but I left them in the other ones just to show you guys. They also sent me these little undies. I'm just a sucker for like matching, matching anything as you guys know. Those colors are super cute. Most of my bras and underwear are literally like this color, which is perfect because again, I wear a lot of light colors. Bras can be so uncomfortable. I'm very, very picky with my bras. I mostly wear stuff like this, just like really comfy bralettes. So if you're looking for some comfy bras, Ebby has a whole bunch. They have like all different styles. They have underwear too. They have different styles of underwear. It has wire-free support. It gives a one inch lift. It also has slip proof technology. So it just like stays in place where it needs to be. The fabric is also super soft. And if your first order doesn't fit perfectly, they have 100% fit guarantee. So they will help you out with making sure that you can find the perfect fit. I also like that all of their products are 100% seamless because that's pretty much all that I wear. I don't wanna have like bra lines or panty lines. Their sizing goes from extra small to 4X. They also have a subscription program. You can get up to 40% savings. You never pay for shipping. And then I think it's, they send you three pairs of undies for $39 every three months and you can skip or cancel anytime which is also super nice. You can customize your box or they can like curate something for you and you get early access to new arrivals and a subscriber only pricing. So they gave me a code for you guys that will get you 15% off plus free shipping. The code is AspenFS15. So I will have that linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Getting back to the pregnancy update, I feel like the baby's definitely super low. But I've noticed that the last like week or so when I like sit down, I can feel that she's super low too. And I remember being able to feel that with Lola and probably with Cove too, but obviously that was like a long time ago, but it's pretty early for her to be super low. Like I still have quite a ways to go. I'm not like almost done with this pregnancy. I am in my third trimester now, but we still have kind of a long time. I feel like I do feel like it's going by fast, but yeah, third trimester hit and I started honestly just feeling like crap. Like my body just hurts a lot. I get a lot of pain in my ribs right here and in my back right here. And it's hard to like make that pain go away. I'll have it when I'm like standing or I'll have it when I'm sitting. And I literally have to just like get into weird, like bend weird ways to try and just get the pain to go away for a second. I'm definitely getting to the point where everything is like hurting. I feel like I was kind of doing okay for a while, but obviously if you, as you get closer to the end, everything just gets a lot harder. My legs this pregnancy have also hurt so bad. I'll be sitting on the couch and then I'll go to the kitchen to like grab my water and come back. And it literally feels like my legs weigh a thousand pounds. And they're kind of just like crampy and just... <sighs> 
really not that enjoyable. So anytime that we need to go upstairs for something or whatever, I'm like, Parker, you do it. I literally cannot walk up the stairs right now. But I'm trying to think of what else. I did do my glucose test the other day. I forget if I talked about that in the vlog. I know I talked about it on TikTok, but I did pass that luckily. First time I ever took it, I failed by one point. So I always get super nervous, but luckily my doctor let me redo the one hour one. But normally if you fail, you have to go in and do like a three hour one. And if you don't know what the glucose test is, basically you just drink like a really sugary drink and then do a blood draw an hour later. And they let me take the drink home. I know some offices you have to like drink it there and then sit there and wait for the hour. But I just did it like first thing in the morning. And I never think that the test is really that bad. Some people like hate it and they like pass out or throw up because the drink is just so sugary. I must just be used to a lot of sugar because somehow I always feel pretty fine after. Anyways, those are kind of like the main pregnancy updates. I did go through all the baby clothes as I showed you guys. I think that was in the last vlog, but I still haven't gone through our actual baby stuff, like the bassinet and the swing and all of that. I think I'm gonna wait until I have only like a month left. Okay, wait, maybe I should put on the tan bra if I'm gonna wear a white shirt. Or should I just wear a different sweater? I don't know, I wore this yesterday for a couple hours, so it's like half dirty already. So I kind of want to wear it again today for a few hours to like full dirty it up. Same with these pants. Once I wear a pair of pants out of the house, they are like my out pants for the next few days, especially if I like sat on something and we went out to lunch yesterday, we went to Target. Cove kept talking about this stuffed animal puppy that she thought she was getting for Valentine's Day. And I was like, I am not getting you that for Valentine's Day. I purposely, I showed you guys what I got them for Valentine's either in the last vlog or the one before, but I tried to be very intentional with the Valentine's gift. I got like more crafty stuff. I didn't want to get like random toys and like stuffed animals and stuff like that because they have so many stuffed animals. But then it was like multiple times that Cove brought up this dog and I took her to Target the other day and she showed it to me she was like this is the dog this is the one i'm getting for valentine's day and i'm like who told you that you were getting that and when have you seen this dog before but parker took them a couple weeks ago and he says he has no memory of this black dog it had to be him who said that she was gonna get it because i know that it wasn't me and nobody else has taken her to target anyways we went on a little family journey to target luckily they had one of those dogs left but she just wanted it so bad that i couldn't say no so then i had to also let lola pick out an animal so now we have two more animals that we did not need but it's fine we also started on our um like renovations that we're doing so i'll show you guys when we get home we're doing new countertops in the kitchen and the bathrooms and then we're like switching out the mirrors in here doing a little bit of tile we haven't started that yet but we're renovating our half bathroom so i'm gonna change into this hand bra, but then should I also change my undies because I want them to match. I'll show you guys when I get home because we did like new floor tile, new wall tile. We got a new vanity in there, which I'm super excited about. And then tomorrow they're coming to do like the templating for the counters, which is basically they just like measure everything. So I'm very excited about that, but I'm gonna go. Oh, I also have a Target pickup order, even though we went yesterday. I saw these little bowls there and I almost got them, but then I didn't. And then I can't stop thinking about them. So last night I did a pickup order. I also forgot a couple of random things like okay in case anybody wonders how this bra fits since it's a different style it's like this these are my favorite ones anyways ready to go hi luma our old bathroom stuff that we're getting rid of my target pickup order right now i'm trying to decide if this lighting is too bad to show you guys stuff i guess it's not bad mm, can you see okay between my sunglasses and the sun in my eyes i can't tell if the camera's focused but basically i just got light pink base with little multicolored hearts on it i also ran into sephora because i was out of moisturizer i got another one of this one from paula's choice the barrier repair advanced moisturizer i also got a moisturizer for parker i was gonna ask if he wanted the same one as me but he doesn't really like it when it's a thicker one so this is the cloud dew from summer fridays i think he likes this one and he needs his own because he's always stealing mine which is fine but it's just nice for him to have one on his actual side of the bathroom and then i got another one of these peptide collagen booster things it's basically just a serum i have another serum that i'm trying to use up so i was gonna wait to buy this but since i was already in there i was like i might as well just buy it so that i don't have to go back so i was very proud of myself but i walked out of there with only those well i was gonna say only the things i needed but i literally just said that i didn't need that serum yet but i will when my other one is gone but i didn't buy like any extra stuff and then i did buy extra stuff that i didn't need at brandy melville 
I still cannot believe they opened a brandy in Utah. That is literally the most random thing ever. Literally, I have so few clothes that actually fit me now. And so many of my shirts are crop tops, which normally is fine. And it's fine. Like, I don't care if I have my belly out. But it's just nice to have something that actually covers my belly when I, like, go out in public. So, I got this sweater. I think this will be super nice for summer to just throw over, like, a swimsuit. It's really light and kind of just, like, crochet material. So, I can wear this now still. And then I got just this gray long sleeve shirt. I was basically just looking for anything that's not crop. Okay, the person is coming, so I need to be looking out my window. But this is just like gray and super simple. Again, just wanted something that literally isn't cropped so that I can go out in public. Then I also got this cute little heart tank top. You guys can see the print because tonight I have a Galentine's party with some friends. We always dress very casual <laughs> when we like all get together so this is what my top will be it's literally a pj top it is festive and that is all that matters i got these cute little heart necklaces it's just like gold with a little heart on it i got one for each of us and then i got a pair of these pants because i literally have not very many pants that fit me and basically all the pants that fit me are sweatpants i got another pair of sweatpants and they're dark a lot of the pants that i have are light and obviously with postpartum you're like bleeding and stuff so you have your coat yes thank you have a good day. thanks so much okay i think i'll go park somewhere else so that i'm not taking up uh drive up spot there's also something on my back sensor or something because it is beeping like that even when there's literally nothing behind me so and my front sensors too i don't know what is happening i also got this t-shirt that is the same color that also is not cropped so just trying to survive the end of pregnancy and only buying comfy clothes but i also got this bag i've been wanting to get another tote bag because the one that i don't even really carry a diaper bag anymore like i don't hardly need anything that's like baby related Obviously, I still need diapers, but I always have diapers and wipes in the car. Sometimes if we go to like play place or I don't know something, obviously it's just good to like have a diaper with you. And the bag that I have is like a crochet bag that's super cute, but it just has a lot of like holes in it, obviously. I always have like little suckers on my purse for the girls. And so then there's like sucker sticks poking out. I just wanted to get another tote bag to put some baby stuff in. Usually has like two diapers, a thing of wipes, hand sanitizer, a couple snacks. Let me show you guys what I got from Target. These are the bowls that I really wanted. I have some kind of similar to this, like a similar size, but they're like purpley. And I think we used to have like four of them and then now we only have two and we use them all the time. They're the perfect size to like give the girls snacks. I got the mixing bowl of this. I really wanted to come back and get these because I just need to have a full set. We use them all the time and they're like always dirty. So I got six of those. Then I got a thing of blackberries. I was gonna go to the grocery store today too, but I ended up going yesterday with Lauren. Normally I order all my groceries. I just didn't have very much that I actually needed for the week. So Lauren was like, well, I'm going to the grocery store and the chiropractor, if you want to come with me. I was like, yeah, I'll just go grocery shop in person, which I normally don't do like a full grocery shop in person ever because it's just, I just don't like to do that. But yesterday, since I only needed a few things, we went there. Not a super exciting Target haul, mostly just like household essentials. We got toothpaste, we got a dish brush. You know you're an adult when you're excited about something like this. I've been wanting to try this instead of the other one that we have, which is just like the normal one that you like pour the soap out of. I don't even really do the dishes, so I don't know why I'm excited because Parker's the one who's in charge of dishes most of the time, but yeah, I thought that was gonna be a fun purchase. And then my Tums because heartburn. And then I also got laundry detergent, so I need to go home. It's two o'clock now. I have something that I need to to shoot and then I mostly just have like computer stuff to do so I'm gonna go home and do that what that's so cute come down here let's make a snack hey baby look what I got us girls new bowls oh I got you those suckers oh, cold. Right want to make a snack with mom do you want to dump the bell peppers in wait did you wash your hands Some the onion I just did half of it okay Here's our snack plate. I feel like we need one more thing. What else should we put on it, girls? Okay, the camera is about to die, but I wanted to show you guys this update before I end the vlog. So they actually just came and took the cabinets off of the top of here because we're gonna be switching out the hardware with gold and on top we're doing knobs. So that's all they've done in the kitchen so far. And then in this half bath, 
we have new floor tile. They took the toilet out so they could lay that. We're replacing these with gold too. And then we had the pedestal sink before. So now we have this cute little vanity. And then we also did this wall tile. It's just like super neutral, but I think it's so cute. And then we're doing a new light and a new mirror. This bathroom is pretty small. So I didn't want to do anything too crazy. Like I feel like even wallpaper in here, even just a half wall of it would have kind of felt like a lot, especially because the rest of our house is pretty minimal. Dwell if I suggested doing tile up the wall and I loved that idea. So this is the update on that so far, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I've been editing and it's almost done. I just need to put in this last clip. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out Ebby and you guys can use my code. I'll have them linked down below, AspenFS15. But that is it for today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.